Congratulations on your SAG award. Hey, That's something to celebrate. Congratulations <laughs> on my on my SAG award. Um, I did see some people speculating that I was on uh, cocaine uh-huh. uh, or suffering from autism uh-huh. up on stage due to my uh, expressive face. Did you just dissociate? I would dissociate. I right before I got on stage, Will Smith looked me in the eyes and said, uh-huh. "Congratulations!" Uh-huh. And that really shook me because uh-huh. I can't, couldn't believe that I was. It was surreal. Yeah, I was. I was. I mean, I was legitimately overjoyed. Yeah, I was um, exuberantly happy, mm-hmm. um, and I'm very proud to be represent part of the cast of succession i was gonna say represent um the slavic peoples yeah well that too (laughs) that too that too that a girl from the dirt from of belarus could uh have such a monumentous achievement yeah uh (laughs) it was moving to me especially um i mean when i was like a struggling actress in Los Angeles who wasn't even in SAG. Mm -hmm. I remember looking at like the SAG after building and looking at their little like logo, which is like this little actor guy Mm -hmm. and being like, that is just like that. This man torments me and I like will never make it in this business. And I will, (laughs) you know, I'm like, (laughs) I'm doomed to be just like crushed and punished by like the spirit of the time. So it was, um, but did you watch the the acceptance speech that Brian Cox, my, um, my colleague, made? I, I watched it with the sound off because I never turn the sound on mm. videos when I look at my phone. I've like literally never watched a video with the sound on. I also watch all the Ukrainian combat videos with the sound you on. You don't want to hear that. Yeah. You don't want to hear that. But Brian Cox did make a statement of, of, of uh, solidarity mm-hmm. with um, the people in Ukraine, which he was, he was right to do. He also... Um, pointed out that Zelensky was was an actor, yeah. and he said, "And we respect that for him, <laughs> and we do." I mean, that's yeah. And then people were kind of being like, "Oh, these actors—they just make everything about themselves, and they think they're so important." And guess what? It's the SAG Awards. Yeah. It's for actors by actors. It's the Screen Actors Guild. We're there to talk about acting. Yeah, we do think acting is important. We do think it's the oldest profession <laughs> besides the other one mm-hmm. um though they certainly overlap yeah they're and, very uh, related in mm-hmm. a way no but it's so stupid and gay to like aren't we past the point now of uh mocking actors for whatever certain like perceived and he, and- faux pas I mean, what's the yeah. argument that he wasn't sensitive enough to the geopolitical situation? No, that to- he that's no, that he just was like, um, well, he, then, then he spoke specifically about actors in Russia uh-huh. who are being blacklisted essentially for speaking out against the war in Ukraine or which is true. It's true. A lot of um, um, celebrities and public figures in Russia have like openly turned against Putin. Yeah. Yeah. And um you know, are being are being faced, as Brian said, with like the threat of high treason for doing so. Mm-hmm. And, you know, as actors, we are concerned with actors. So and he has the authority to speak on that because he has worked with like the Moscow theater over the course of his long career. And he uh-huh. I I stand with, with Brian. I mean, 